right. So, uh, talking about another creator. It's all happening today. But um, I thought this was... Um, I, 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 I want to talk about this because, like... Yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to play the video, right? Uh, she says, uh, this is Losty, Losty Girl, uh, she's a little MK creator. I almost wanted to edit it out since I don't like being weak online, but then I chose to leave it the way it is so you can see how important the MK franchise was in my childhood and the memories it gave that made me think of my brother. I love you all and thanks for the support. So we're going to play the video and then we'll have a talk. I really like this style, I really like this style, but I'm also really hoping for one with a hat that we all know and oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I see her back guys. She was my, she was my, yeah, my childhood. I used to play out. Yeah. With my brother who passed away, but yeah. <sighs> he would have loved this. Okay, so uh, really like this. So um, that's pretty awesome. That that wets my eyeball a bit. I'll be honest. Um, I'm an emotional guy too. I am actually, right? I cry on chick flicks. I'm man enough to admit it. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this video is the, the whole weak aspect, right? I, I think, um, I, so weird. Like, I, I don't, I don't see a problem with people, you know, people crying. If you want to cry, you can cry. Um, uh, Ginger Prime uh, lost his mind. It was awesome. It was so cool, right? He lost his mind because um, he'd been championing to have Final Fantasy XIV online come to uh, Xbox. It finally happened and you know what it's like um, when you know certain things that you've been working on or there's massive connections to your past uh, that you know you know really pull at those heartstrings from different memories and, and, and whatnot and times in your life and that's why I'm so passionate about MK you know, people come to my channel and say oh you're just a hater no the problem is I love it too much the problem is I love it so much that um, sometimes I just have got to share my opinion on what I don't like, right? I'm not going to be one of these people that is going to sit there and tell you what you want to hear, right? I'll do it in a nice way, but I'm not going to be a bugger about it. But, you know, like I have to share that. And I thought it was really moving because obviously, uh, obviously not knowing any history at all about Lost a Girl, um, obviously... This is a massive um, connective tissue to her brother, uh, which I'm assuming is up there, uh, probably playing some uh, non-violent version of Mortal Kombat, maybe, possibly, up in that direction. Uh, I'm a Christian, so I'm going to just say he's in heaven. Uh, yeah, I could be wrong. He could just be living on the other side of the down, but I'm going to assume that unfortunately that he is not with us anymore. Um, I think there is no shame in being real. You got to be. You got to be. You got to be real, not fake. Real. This is real. This is the sort of stuff that people love to see. They want to see you, um, you know, get moved and love things. Right? And we all do it in our, own, in our own different ways, and that's really good. It's a, what makes us all individual. But, um, you know, uh, I, I, I have very deep connections with Mortal Kombat because, you know, I played it when I was very young. Um, I guess very young, considering my age now. Um, but, uh, you know, and there's other things that I absolutely love. Games that I will play because it really brings me back to my childhood. Um, probably more so as well, because I didn't have the best childhood growing up to a certain degree. So um, maybe that's why, that's probably why I get very nostalgic and protective 
over things that I absolutely love, right? And one of my greatest faults is not wanting to see people self-destruct. It is a terrible fault of mine. I can't shut my mouth. I've got to, I've got to try and, you know, stop them from falling off the edge. And sometimes they do have to take that step out before realizing, whoa, no, no. You know, some people just have to learn on their own. But because of my growing up, uh, you know, I don't want to, like I, I, you know, I have a lot of things that have formed either through attachment, through gaming, music, uh, TV shows, you know, that ground me, that, you know, give me a sense of calm and peace or, you know, a lost memory, you know, or, or, a, or a wonderful memory and you just wish that, like what Losty is talking about here, uh, that you wish you could share it um, with the person you originally shared the original memory with, you know, but like the updated updated one and you know this is what we need more of I talk a lot about shills about how you know uh, people will just say anything to make a buck and and not be real this is the stuff that I absolutely love to see I love to see people weep and get emotional and excited about things because life it can be hard enough as it is and you know you you need these things to get you through and you know I, I I took issue with her saying weak because I don't see this as weak I see this as strength like, I, like you know like we are meant to feel as as a Christian we are meant to feel these things we are meant to feel love and and, and uh, anger and sadness and all this stuff it's what we do with them you know uh is the issue so obviously you uh you know you you don't strike out in anger but we're allowed to feel angry about things you know? um so you know i i we're, we're meant to we're, we're put on this earth to feel we're, we're you know we're, we're meant to to you know have these you know feelings um as long as they don't hurt anyone or compromise anyone um which is why i think this is extraordinarily genuine and honest and i love to see it and i think a lot of people do too uh i said i wrote a comment i just said it's not weakness it's heart and it is hard right it's it's because you love something so much and you love it because there are you know there's certain reasons why you're, you know, you're doing it, you know, um, especially with, you know, connections with sort of characters and things. Like I, I, I've always, like my favorite character is Scorpion and maybe I've always liked, you know, the sort of the anti-hero type to a degree, like uh, uh, Eric Draven, uh, the Crow, if anyone's seen the original Brandon Lee, uh, the Crow, love that movie, because um, I've always loved that idea of coming, like fighting for what you love. Scorpion's character is fighting for what you love. He literally comes back and avenges his family's, uh, you know, demise. You know, the, the you know, like that, 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 you know, like that. There will nothing can stop. The power of love, right? Um, nothing can stop it at all, and that's why I like the crow. The crow is the same, you know. Uh, everything was taken from him, including his own life, and he comes back to, uh, as they say, set the wrong things right, and very moving. And so, you know, there are certain characters and certain movies and and certain things that take me back to times when things weren't that difficult or there were people around that you loved and, and uh, made things better and stuff like that. So this right here, girl, that's good. That's fine. There's another chick, um, Final Fantasy chick, you know, you know, Leska or something, right? Uh, she's always crying. <laughs> 
She's always weeping, right? And that's great. Because people, there, there are, you know, and she's like, I think, in her 40s too. So, it's, you know, maybe it's an age thing. Maybe we're just getting older. It's like, man, you know, that nostalgia bait really hits. But it's good to see people getting very excited, move, being moved by stuff, you know. I don't want to be negative against MK1. But at the same time, I wouldn't be authentic if I just sat here and only talked about the positives or, you know, lied about it. So I've got to be authentic. So when I genuinely get excited, like I did with the reptile reveal, that's real, man. Like, that is real. Like, I just lost my shit. <laughs> it was amazing. Right? And Reiko and Ashra, Serena, right? All of that was real because I love those characters. And I saw that they were done justice, you know, and um, and I love that. So, yeah, always be real. Anyway, guys, catch you next time.